Hi everyone, welcome to my video where I'll be talking about some of my favorite museums in Helsinki. Visiting museums is a fun thing to do when traveling or visiting a new city for many people. Also, in my opinion, international people living in Finland like us or immigrants here, learning about Finnish cultural and historical heritage is essential to integrate into Finnish society. I personally believe that visiting museums is a great way to familiarize yourself with Finnish culture and history. In this video, I'll be featuring some of the museums in Helsinki that offer a glimpse into Finnish culture and history. There are my favorite museums located in other cities in Finland, but in this video, I'll be focusing only on those located in Helsinki capital area. Let's start with the most common one. The Atelem Museum is a must visit if you are interested in art. It is located in the heart of Helsinki and is home to the largest collection of Finnish art in the country. The museum has a rich and diverse collection of paintings, sculptures and other art objects. You can admire works by famous Finnish artists and learn about the evolution of Finnish art. Here are some of the most famous paintings that you can see at the Athenaeum Museum. This is the Fighting Keipakelis. This painting depicts two male birds fighting over a female one. It is a prime example of the painter's fascination with the Finnish wilderness and its wildlife. My Finnish friends say they have seen this painting even in some textbook at school. Another famous one is Under the Yoke. The painting is known for its realistic and detailed depiction of Finnish life at the turn of the 20th century. These are just few examples of the main famous paintings that you can see there. Whether you are a fan of classical or contemporary art, Athenaeum Museum is a must-visit destination to get to know a bit about Finnish culture and history. Next up is the National Museum of Finland, which is dedicated to Finnish history. I actually love this museum personally and often visit there when I have some spare time in the center of Helsinki. It has an extensive collection of artifacts that showcase Finland's cultural and historical heritage from the Stone Age to modern times. Especially my favorite eternal exhibition there is Suomen Tarina, which means Story of Finland. It is dedicated to the Finnish war of independence and artifacts and historical documents related to Finland's struggle for independence from Russia. There you can see a super famous painting by the Finnish artist Edvardo Isto. It's not just one of the random paintings for Finland. So the double-headed eagle represents Russia and it is attacking the maiden symbolizing Finland trying to steal what tearing a law book of Finland. Immediately after the painting was completed, it became the symbol of protest against Russia. It's a great place to learn about Finland's past and how it has shaped the country today. The next is not the most famous one but I'm introducing because I enjoyed it a lot. If you are interested in the life of one of Finland's greatest figures, then the Mannerheim Museum is a place to be. This museum is dedicated to Marshal Gustav Mannerheim, who was a Finnish military leader and politician. The museum used to be Mannerheim's former residence in the Kaivopuiso district of Helsinki, so it's really fun to see in what kind of house he was living. The museum visit always includes a guided tour. Mannerheim traveled all over the world when he was alive, and it was very interesting to see around goods and souvenirs he brought from different countries, including some cool gadgets from France, real tiger skin which he hunted in China, and so on. Taking pictures wasn't allowed, so I can't show them in this video, but I really recommend this museum, so if you have a chance, you should try. Then, the Helsinki City Museum. The museum is located right beside near the Senate Square and the Helsinki Cathedral. First of all, the best thing about this museum is that it's always free entry. 
One of the highlights of the Helsinki City Museum is that the story of Helsinki exhibit, which takes visitors on a journey through the history of the city. The exhibit is organized chronologically and features a wide range of artifacts, photographs, and other materials that illustrate the city's development over time. If you live in Helsinki and haven't visited, you should visit. Anyway, it's free. Also, if you're moving here someday, this is a good place to get to know a bit more about the city of Helsinki. Lastly, if you are a fan of modern art, Emma, Espo Museum of Modern Art, is a great option. The museum is located in Espo, which is a short train ride from Helsinki. I generally prefer traditional art to modern art, but despite this, I always enjoy visiting Emma. You can see everything from paintings to sculptures to installations and get a taste of the contemporary art scene in Finland and other countries. One of the highlights of Emma is the special exhibitions, which change throughout the year and feature works by both established and emerging artists. For instance, last year there was an immersive installation named Tracing Boundaries by a Japanese artist at Emma. That was an exhibition where you could feel various things and imagine what the, each element of the artwork symbolizes even if you are not familiar with modern art. I took some of my friends there and they all enjoyed it. That wraps up my list of favorite museums in Helsinki. Whether you are interested in art, history or science, there is something for everyone. I hope this video has inspired you to explore the museums in Helsinki and utilize them to learn Finnish culture and history. Last but definitely not least, I have to tell you something important. Some museums in Helsinki offer free admission at least once a month. I put the link of Helsinki City's website where you can see the list of those museums in the description below. So if you are interested but don't want to spend money, <laughs> please check it. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and feel free to comment if you have any thoughts or questions. See you!